you need a cash buyer right now for your wholesale deal? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to find your cash buyers for free in the fastest way possible and without using any software. First off, what I wanna do in this video is explain the context around cash buyers because after training thousands of wholesalers and flippers to do deals, they have a different idea of what cash buyers actually are. So first off, I'm gonna explain exactly what cash buyers are, and then I'll get into exactly how to find cash buyers online for free. So let's dig in. So first off, you know what is a cash buyer? A cash buyer is a real estate investor, typically a fix and flipper, who's looking to buy single family houses for their fix and flip business, right? This fix and flippers are gonna buy the house, renovate it, resell it, and make a nice profit. These are the people that we wanna wholesale deals to. Now, there are also buy and hold investors that buy rental property. Uh, they can be your cash buyer as well, but we typically like to work with cash buyers that are fix and flippers because they may be buying three to 10 house flips per month. Okay, so what that means is if you find three to 10 wholesale deals in a month, one cash buyer that's fixing and flipping houses could take it, could, could buy all those deals from you, pay you an average wholesale fee of $10,000 per deal. If you're only working with buy and hold investors, they may not buy as many deals as that house uh, fix and flipper cash buyer. And with cash buyers, finding and developing these relationships with them are extremely important, all right? You do not just want to have a cash buyer be a faceless cash buyer, someone you, you cannot put a face to a name with. These are people you want to develop relationships with and you need to look at yourself as a partner to their business. And you may not be in the same entity. If you're wholesaling houses, uh, you know, this cash buyer is not in your business, but you have to work together so that they get a profit on their deal, their fix and flip deal, and you get a profit on your wholesale fee. And so when you're able to sit on the same side of the table, the negotiating table, rather than across from each other, that's when great things can flourish in your business. And this leads me to saying that it's not about the quantity of cash buyers, all right? It's, you don't need a thousand cash buyers across the nation, you know, a thousand emails to then blast your deals out to when you're wholesaling a house. Really what it's about is the quality, the quality of the cash buyers. You could have three to five quality local cash buyers in your area doing multiple deals per month, and that's all you need for years to come. So I like to work smarter, not harder, and that's what I recommend for you. And so I wanted to explain this for you just to really make it easy for you when you're finding these cash buyers, right? It's something you can do, and what I'm gonna to share today, is something you can do in really one minute, five minutes, and find those three to five local cash buyers in your area. And now I wanna get into, you know, what exactly makes a great cash buyer? Now we talked about what they are. So what makes a great cash buyer are ones that have a lot of experience buying houses. So not some fly by night, cash buyer is a fix and flipper who's watched one HGTV show and does one deal every six months. That doesn't make a great cash buyer because that type of newbie, when you send them a wholesale deal, they're gonna be slow to get back to you, right? They've only done one or two deals maybe. They can only handle one deal every six months. So they don't have the right contractor crews, they don't have the right systems, they don't have the right processes to buy multiple deals per month from you. Not all cash buyers are created equal. So what a great cash buyer is, is someone that has the systems and processes in place that is able to do multiple deals per month and has the cash on hand to do that. And you wanna find cash buyers that are able to make decisions quickly. And I'm talking about when you send them a deal via email and you follow up with a phone call, you want them to be able to respond to you within a few hours and be able to make a decision to buy the property within 24 to 72 hours. Now, if you haven't wholesaled a lot of deals, that may seem like you know, a short amount of time, but actually that's plenty amount of time for a sophisticated cash buyer to make a decision to buy a single family house, right? That's what we're looking for. You shouldn't have cash buyers on your list that drag their feet and get back to you one week later, right? That's not gonna cut it in this business and these aren't the people they wanna work with. You wanna work with the people that will get back to you and have excellent communication skills, pick up your phone calls, respond to your emails so that you can close these deals quickly and efficiently. Now you also want a cash buyer that is local to the market you are living in. I, I see it all the time where wholesalers are starting out and they're like, oh my gosh, I got five cash buyers and they're located in San Antonio, Texas and their cash buyers are in Hoboken, New Jersey, right? That doesn't, doesn't work for us, right? Yes, that person in Hoboken, New Jersey may be a, a, a cash buyer, but we wanna find local cash buyers in our area that are actually doing deals. So it's about finding local buyers that understand the market, understand the zip codes, 
uh, the neighborhoods, the niches in your market, because they can make decisions quickly for you. They can buy your deals and are, be, are going to be most confident in your deals. And lastly, you want to find a cash buyer that does what they say they're going to do. Okay. There's so many people in this business, whether you're a wholesaler or fix and flipper that are amateurs and they say they're going to call you back at 2 PM and they don't, or they say they're going to email you back and they don't. You want to find someone that has the traits uh, of integrity so that when you're starting a business relationship with them today, you can look forward 12 months from now, 24 months from now, and at least have confidence that they're going to keep doing what they say they're going to do. That's huge in business. And as an entrepreneur, as a wholesaler, you get to dictate who you want to work with. That's one of the beautiful things about being in this business. You don't have to work with anyone you don't want to. And what you need to realize is that cash buyers are abundant. So if you ever find a cash buyer that you do not like working with, that doesn't fit the mold of anything I just talked about, then don't work with them. You can find another cash buyer. And I'm about to show you how to do that very, very quickly on how to find a cash buyer in just a few minutes online. That's going to be sophisticated. That's going to be local. That's going to be doing multiple projects. That's going to have solid communication skills and hit all of these for you. So you can have a beautiful wholesaling business. Now, lastly, here are some things to take note of with cash buyers. All right. An experienced cash buyer, when you send them a wholesale deal that you have under contract, keep in mind that they could negotiate your price down, your wholesale fee down, right? They're a real estate investor and they wouldn't be doing their job if they didn't try to negotiate. So if they say, Hmm, you know, is that the best you can do on your price? Or is that flexible? If you know it's a good deal, stand firm to your numbers. All right. This is very important. So this is the difference between making 15 grand on a deal and five grand, right? You don't always need to lower your fee. If it's a good deal, um, then stick to your ground. Understand this sophisticated investors will try to negotiate your wholesale fee. But as you move on, as you progress in your career as a wholesaler, you're going to get more advanced as well and be able to see this. So I'm just sharing this with you so you can make as much money as possible per deal. Now, in general, if you find that some cash buyers are slower to get back to you, a couple things. One, they may be a newbie. Uh, they may be putting on a front, right? They may have not done a lot of deals to get back to you quickly on a deal. They're maybe asking five, six, seven different mentors on, Hey, is this a good deal or, or not? Or, there could be that if they are sophisticated, they could just not see the value that you're providing for them. And so that's an issue on your part as a wholesaler of not providing the value that you bring to them or not believing in that and that coming off from a lack of confidence. And what you need to understand is that as a wholesaler, you are providing an extreme amount of value in the whole entire real estate market and for fix and flippers, right? You're putting food on the table for any fix and flipper that you wholesale a deal to how a fix and flipper keeps their business going is through flipping houses. And you can be a number one deal provider for any fix and flipper that you work with. So you have immense value and you need to realize that and don't be pushed around and understand that if you want to do great business and you want to be wholesaling multiple houses per month, it's these cash buyers that you need to build relationships with. And lastly, when you're working with cash buyers, just make sure that this cash buyer is a fix and flipper and not a wholesaler pretending to be a fix and flipper. All right. That's important because what I've seen happen sometimes is that you'll think you have a cash buyer. Maybe you met them in person, you found them online somewhere, but they're just a wholesaler and they're trying to wholesale your deals. And if they're doing that without your permission, then that's called daisy chaining, right? They're not really being truthful or trustful. And it's not a great way to start a relationship. Now, if this person tells you, Hey, I'm a wholesaler and we can co wholesale deals together and split wholesale fees, maybe 50, 50, then that's a different type of relationship that I definitely recommend doing it help. It's helpful, but uh, just keep in mind that, you know, you can verify that these fix and flippers are actually fix and flippers. All right. And now let's get into why you actually want to start with finding cash buyers first before getting your wholesale deal. So this has been an argument. Everyone talks about it in this industry. Hey, do I find the deal first and then we get the cash buyers or do I find the cash buyers? Then I get the deals, right? And my philosophy is that cash buyers are so simple to find that it, it makes sense and is silly to try and get a deal first to then to be rushed to find cash buyers after the fact, because if you don't have the skill sets of building rapport or know how to find these cash buyers, you'll be running around like a chicken with your head cut off when you have a deal under con contract that you're trying to wholesale, you know, then you're trying to find cash buyers and say, Hey, you got to get to the property in three days. 
right? That's not a great way to build a relationship. So I, I wanna really share why it's important to find these cash buyers first. So the average wholesaler, what they do is they'll go find a random house, put it under contract, right? Some random house, just somewhere. And then they'll try and market that deal to cash buyers. It's a random house that they're marketing. And then they'll hope, they'll hope that their cash buyers will want that deal. And they'll send a big email blast to thousands of cash buyers on this random house they found, maybe they'll get paid, right? Maybe they'll get lucky and they'll be blindfolded and be able to hit that target, right? There's a lot of randomness, a lot of hope that goes on. For the pro, for someone who does this professionally as a wholesaler, you wanna find your cash buyers first, all right? It's that important so that you can know exactly their buying criteria. And now you can find the exact deals your cash buyers want from just asking them, you know, what deals do you like to buy? What's your bread and butter? What zip codes do you like to buy in? What are your favorite cities to buy in? So now when we ask our cash buyers all this information, we can find the exact deals that they want and operate with certainty and confidence when speaking with everyone in the transaction that this deal is going to work for our cash buyers. All right, does that make sense? That's why it's so important to find these cash buyers first because we can find the exact deals that they want. And now we're putting a round peg through a circle hole instead of trying to put a brick through this circle hole. It's much easier. Your business is gonna flow. It's gonna be way less stressful. And so I wanna give you the best chance of success. And that's why I recommend doing it that way. Now let's get into how to find cash buyers online for free. And this is something at our company, Real Estate Skills, we've coined as the Google Ninja trick. Okay? What this is, this Google Ninja trick and how you find cash buyers online for free is that you will use search keywords on Google that motivated sellers typically type in and you're gonna type those keywords in and as well include your location information. So I'll give you an example. If there's a motivated seller who wants to sell their house in Denver, Colorado, they're probably gonna type in something along the lines of sell my house fast Denver into Google, right? Now, what sophisticated cash buyers do is that they understand that motivated sellers are going to type that in. And so they have blog articles and they have those keywords on their website so that when a motivated seller types this in, their website comes up on Google. So to find cash buyers online for free, all you need to do is pretend you're a motivated seller, type in these keyword phrases that I'll share with you. And I have a resource that you'll be able to download with all the keywords that you can type in to find these cash buyers. But that's all you, all you have to do in your area and then you'll be able to find these cash buyers in your area in literally one minute or less. It's that simple. All right, and so why this Google Ninja trick works so well is because cash buyers often spend time and money in order to rank on Google for these specific keywords and phrases that motivated sellers type in. So they may have specific blog articles or pages on their website that have things that say, sell my house fast Denver, we'll be able to help you. There's other phrases you can type in now. So let's just go along with the example of Denver, Colorado, and you wanna find cash buyers in Denver, Colorado. Well, you can type in, we buy houses Denver. You can type in, buy my house Denver, sell my house fast Denver, stop foreclosure fast Denver, right? All the keywords that a motivated seller would type in, you put those phrases into Google, you click search, and then you'll be able to find cash buying companies that come up fix and flipping companies and take a look at their website. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'll show you an example on my computer on how to find some cash buyers right away and easily in Denver. And let's pretend we're looking for cash buyers in Denver, right? So I'm gonna type in sell my house fast, Denver. Click enter. And what we wanna do, I'll give you some good advice, is we wanna stay away from these ads at the top. These are ads where it says ad uh, because a lot of the times there's going to be national cash buying companies and we want to stay away from national cash buying companies because remember, I, I told you, we want to look for local companies that are in our area, experts in the area, because they're going to make decisions quickly. Now this sell my house fast in Denver.co, that can definitely be a good one. I would click that, but let me show you a really great company that I've, I've seen on here. They're called the buyout company. And so if you go to the buyoutcompany.com, you'll see, these are the organic search results. So these are websites that are trying to rank for sell my house fast Denver or we buy houses fast Denver, any of those phrases that you type in. But when we go to the buyout company, here's what you can do now, right? We're looking for sophisticated cash buyers. Well, right away, we can go check out 
their team. They're about us. We can learn about what they've done, who they are. We can see that uh, the two general partners have combined over 80 years of experience of buying and selling homes in the Denver market. We can learn about this company and they're obviously a, a legit corporation, as you can see here, a legit company doing deals. So this is how simple it is to find these cash buyers. Uh, their phone number is at the top right hand side of the screen. You can give them a call. If you go to the contact us page, there's probably their email that you can reach out to them, right? It's that simple. They want deals. They want to work with wholesalers like you. And, and look at this. They've done over 1,647 properties in Colorado that they've purchased. That's, that's a lot. So talk about a great cash buyer that can probably buy a hundred deals from you in a year, two or three years. That's what I mean from quality over quantity of finding someone in your market. So you can use this, you know, for any type of city, any type of city across the United States. And for some best practices around the Google Ninja trick, here's what I recommend. So don't just try sell my house fast and then your city name. Try the different phrases, uh, multiple different phrases to find different cash buyers that are ranking well in Google that you can then call and you can then email, reach out to and start to build a relationship with and understand their buying criteria. That's how you're going to find more cash buyers. And so what I've done is in the description below, I've included some slides and then also a list of all the keywords you can use to find these cash buyers in your area so that, you know, if you forget about this video, you at least have this, you know, if you want to give it to a team member on, on your team to find these cash buyers, you can absolutely do that. They'll be able to, to just pick it up and run with it. And you can also find that at realestateskills.com slash Google. Just go there and you'll be able to download it. So another best practice is that go to the second and third page of Google. There's going to be other organic search results of, of local buyers there that you can find and, and reach out to. And then be sure once again, that you're looking at local cash buyers. There may be some national cash buyers that are buying in multiple different states that you don't really want to reach out to because you're probably going to talk to a receptionist. And the, at the end of the day, these cash buyers, they're not a local expert in your market and it's going to waste a lot of your time and they're going to drag their feet if you have a deal. So local, 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 find them, look at their website, read the about us section, and you'll be able to find people right in your own backyard. One last thing I want to cover, cause I know this question will come up, you know, Alex, what if I live in a small city? So I type in that small city name and no cash buyers come up. Well, what I want you to do is then type in your county name. So sell my house fast and then your county name or um, the next biggest city close to you because there are going to be cash buyers that not only buy in that city, but the surrounding cities, the surrounding counties and the whole entire state. So first start micro and then start going macro gradually uh, when you're looking for cash buyers. And that's how you're going to be able to find cash buyers anywhere and in any state utilizing this strategy. So go ahead, give it a try. And if this was something that's helpful for you, comment below Google Ninja trick, because then I'll be able to see, Hey, it helped you. And you'll be able to find these cash buyers quickly and easily. So whether you're, you have a deal right now under contract, you need to find a cash buyer immediately right now, use the Google Ninja trick. Only good things are going to come from it. If you're wondering, Hey, should I find a deal first or my cash buyers first? Just use the Google Ninja trick in five minutes and begin building these relationships with your cash buyers. And now finding that deal, you're gonna have so much more confidence when you move forward. I'm happy we were able to cover the context of cash buyers. It's so important so that you understand exactly what we're looking for, who they are. You know, we can put a face to a name and we look at, we look at them as partners rather than faceless cash buyers, because that's going to build this strong relationship for years to come. We're making sure they're sophisticated, they're local, they're buying deals in our area just to make your life and their life so much easier. And then we covered exactly how to find cash buyers online for free using our Google Ninja trick without any software, without having to pay any money, without skip tracing. So you can find these buyers quickly, easily, and efficiently. Wholesaling, flipping, buying and holding real estate changed my life. And that's why we're doing what we're doing. So that you can change your life, live the life you want to live, be financially free, have more time doing the things that you actually like doing. All right. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Please, once again, like it, hit the notification button, comment below Google Ninja trick if it helped. And I'll see you guys soon.